Fred, Daphne, Wilma, Shaggy, and Scooby decide to take a well-deserved vacation. Wilma drives everyone to Petit Chou Sauriville, a small town in Louisiana. T. Hat is hosting a vampire festival called Vampire Palooza. They meet Lita Rutland, the festival organizer, who explains that tourism is down and the festival is losing funds. They also meet their host, Vincent Van Helsing, a descendant of Abraham Van Helsing, who runs a vampire museum and is an author, although his books are not selling. Meryl candidate Jesper Pubal, an anti-vampire agitator, is also stirring up trouble by protesting the festival. Mr. Van Helsing takes the gang back to his museum and shows them an ancient book detailing vampire ways, a jeweled necklace and elaborate tiara claimed to belong to a vampire bride, and a glass-faced casket containing the inert body of Valdronia, a centuries-old vampire. The gang and Van Helsing attend a performance by a troupe of actors. The actors are deeply dedicated to the vampire lifestyle and only perform at night. The troupe leader Bram, who catches the eye of Daphne, announces the group will perform a vampire resurrection ritual. The group has another member backstage ready to appear, but to everyone's surprise, their incantation proves far more successful, and the resurrected Vedronia appears on the stage before flying away. Back at the museum, the gang discovers the bridal jewelry missing and the body gone, although the tomb is still sealed. Out on the festival grounds, they find Lita Rutland wants to profit from the publicity of the vampire appearance. Mir Pubal also gets a media exposure benefit for his anti-vampire crusade. They check out the trailer of his organization and discover he plans to run for mayor, and is using the vampire story to increase his notoriety. On the way back, they are attacked by Valdronia. That night, Shaggy and Scooby are attacked by Valdronia and chased into the swamp. V. Pre Shaggy thinks he's been bitten and will turn into a vampire. There they meet Tuli, who reveals he invented a pair of hover shoes, but the plans were stolen by vampires, and he was forced to flee into the swamp. Meanwhile, Fred, Daphne, and Wilma discover the fabric from Valdronia's costume is from modern material. Van Helsing, however, says the clothing has been changed over the years due to disintegration of the original material. But the body is still the actual vampire. Daphne decides to question the troop and meets with Bram. When she turns down his offers of affection, with a promise of immortality, he kidnaps her to become the bride of Valdronia. Daphne alerts Fred via text message, and Fred, Wilma, and Van Helsing travel into the swamp to stop the marriage ceremony. On their way, Van Helsing is pulled from the ship and disappears, when Fred and Wilma investigate they instead find Shaggy and Scooby, where Wilma proves to Shaggy that he is not turning into a vampire as it was just a splinter on his neck. The actors tie Daphne up and put the tiara and necklace on her. The monster appears to claim his bride, and with a swirl of green mist he sends the actors to sleep, tell them that when they awake they will be immortal. Daphne also succumbs to the mist and in a trance she agrees to the wedding. Valdronia arrives, but Shaggy and Scooby distract him while Wilma unties her. In the ensuing chase, Valdronia's costume is blown away by Scooby and Shaggy's airboats propeller, revealing modern clothes and Tully's hover boots underneath, and the vampire is then captured by Fred. Valdronia is unmasked and revealed to be Van Helsing. He wanted to stage a vampire wedding to create his own new tourist attraction, and to sell more books. He used a combination of the stolen boots, knockout gas, and holographic projections to create the monster effects. The actors were duped into thinking he was a real vampire who could grant them immortality, so they helped him. The sheriff arrests Van Helsing and his actors. Afterwards, the gang happily returns to their vacation.